Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're doing something extremely simple, extremely easy, but very effective and a fun way to decorate a journal page. So if you want to make a pretty page quick and easy, here's a quick tip. Um, I call this the kissing stamp. This is not a revolutionary idea, but I haven't done it in a while and I thought it might be fun just to show you because it is so simple and um, it's uh, if you're ever faced with a blank page and you don't know what to do, remember the kissing stamp. And uh, all I used was some basic white uh, paper cutoffs. Um, these are actually uh, leftovers from my shipping labels. Um, just It's just regular copy paper. And um, so what does this magic thing do? Not a whole heck of a lot other than give the person uh, a, a little thing to explore or um, uh, adventure through. And it's very thin, fits on a journal page very nicely, another one of its great benefits. And I just used a rubber stamp across the, the cut line and it opens up and I just put some pretty script stamp in there but it's light enough where a person could still journal in here and have a a big writing space for themselves you don't have to put script you could put something else or just put some lines or something like that but uh, let's make some of these and i just glued the back to a page where the, there was contrast and i put a little quote it says to the possession of the self the way is inward by plotinus now Platonus might not get all the same fanfare as, you know, Socrates and, you know, Nostradamus and all, the, all those other great guys. And frankly, I've never heard of Platonus before. Has anybody ever heard of Platonus? But uh, he, he came up with a good little saying, and I thought it also invited the person to go inward inside this little uh, creative thing. So I just found that in a book, tore it out and glue, inked it and glued it on. So let's make some of these. These are fun. Um, all right. So here is prototype. And we'll just put you there so I know where you are. And um, I have, I'm working on another journal here. This is still in its infancy. Higher lessons in English. Okay, so let's see where we would like to put you. Uh, maybe perhaps on a, I don't know, we could put it on any color page. How about a pink page? Let's do a pink page this time. Um, okay, so I had some uh, leftover white paper and any white paper will do, any size will do. The only thing is you, um, when you're uh, folding it up, you got to make sure that your two, two edges come together. And they, they, it's best if they come together nicely because then your image will look correct when you put it there. Um, did I do it? Nope, not even close. Okay, so we're going to do that a little. i got to move that over a little more. <laughs> and there's probably some official way to do it, but I think pretty darn close works well. And if you find that your top and your bottom... Let me just move this for a second. Hey, Ollie. My African gray parrot. Um, Mr. Chatterpants. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can, it'll even work if you overlap them a little bit, honestly, because um, as long as the image is stamped where the uh, intersection is, you are going to be just dandy. All right, so let me go find a pretty stamp that... Um, you can use any stamp at all. doesn't matter. It can be big or small. Um, let's see. I've got a thousand stamps beside me. You think I can find one that I want to use right now? Okay, let's try this one. Okay. It's uh, that. Okay, and I, it's got a nice crisp image, so I think it will show well. All right, so let me ink her up. This is black soot I am using. Okay. Uh, black soot. Yep, very sooty. Okay, putting that nice and flush flush and stamp. Now ideally I would have my quilters block down under this but I don't because <laughs> I forgot. Okay we still got a decent image so everything is good. So that works like little gate doors. Okay I call this kissing stamps because you have one side here kissing the side here. All right so we have that and what did I do that well that with that one I just left it on square edges but maybe maybe I'm feeling fancy. Maybe it's time to pull out the scalloped edge scissors yeah. and do the top and the bottom like that. Okay, you can do that because we have these things. We can use them. If you don't have them, you don't have to use them. Um, or you could use any decorative edge scissor, like something like this, you know, one of these Fiskar things. Um, and now to amplify, you don't have to amplify. You can totally leave it neutral and I'll just show you what neutral looks like. Not everything has to be inked. No, no. I actually find there's a bit of a trend to getting away from the heavy inking. So the contrast here between the white and the pink is very pretty. And I think maybe maybe I will actually just leave that and let that 
be in it, its own beauty of itself. Another thing you could do is layer it on um, a piece of um, uh, cheesecloth, which might look really pretty. And uh, where's my cheesecloth? Way over there somewhere. Okay, so we won't do that. <laughs> it's way over there. Um, okay, but let's go ahead and put this down. No, let's finish the inside. Yeah, I think I want to get this guy all done first before we slap her down. Okay. Um, I have these geese, and I think these geese want to be involved somehow. So let's 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 see how we can involve them. All right. There's a lot of you. You're quite the gaggle. I don't know if I need all of you. And oop, almost lost your head. Hang in there, Mr. Goose. All right. Take a cluster of geese. That was a nice one with a. That's one of those white geese there. Um, we have some of these. We have uh, the Canadian geese around here, and we have the, um, you know, the, the Peking duck ones. They're actually, I guess, they're feeder ducks, but I think they're just beautiful ducks. And every once in a while, somebody will let some feeder ducks go free in our lake, and uh, they live a nice life here. Uh, I think they live, if they're a pet, they can live like 25 years, but as out in the wild, I think they only last about mm, two to five years, depending on the gatorage of it all, because we have gators here, so they get hungry. Okay, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? I do, I like that. But I think I am going to ink this, because um, I think it will help pop a little bit. Yeah, not necessary, and you don't even need all of this. You could just have the centerpiece if you want, but I, I just feel like I'm, I'm going to ink it. I'm going to use black. That's right, I'm, not, I'm using the black soot again here because it's going to complement the black on the front of this piece. And this is a makeup sponge, not an expensive one, just an El Cheapo from some El Cheapo location. And uh, I ink more than I make up, so there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I do. And you can, you can even put it on an angle. You can do that. You can. Um, all right, so let me do that. I will do that. So sometimes when you open things in journals, they're meant for extra journal space. Other times they're just meant for exploration and adventure and sense of wonder and inspiration. Um, like I said, there's no have tos. It's all about um, whatever feels right to you at the moment and uh, that tickles your fancy. And you know, once your tick fancy is tickled, then there's nothing that can stop you, so you enjoy it. Um, okay, so we have that. Now my edges, maybe I want to do brown on the inside. Well, see, I'm inking. It happened. Look at that. Didn't take long. Next thing you know, my fingers are grabbing for the dauber. I think it's like old habits, you know? But I, I do think it, it lends itself to a, a, a pretty antique, vintage, weathered look. And uh, and I am a big fan of inking the little spine ridges. Okay, let's just fold this. Let's get some crispy edges going here. Ah, nope. Yep, okay, found the bone folder. Thought it was hiding on me, but it wasn't. Right, nice Christmas. Hopefully you will come together as one as you did before in your life. Come on, together. Be at the right place, be at the right place. I think I'm going to make another one and I'm going to overlap them even more because I think it might be, this will work fine. This is legal. <laughs> it counts. Um, but I think having a little bit of overlap might be more advantageous and we're going to explore that together today with this wild abandon of a piece of white paper. Yeah, I know. We're really, we're really going wild today. Okay, so we have that and then we have this a little over glue there let me use it sometimes if you roll your glue if it's not dry yet you can roll it right off you probably already know that but yeah that's what's happening in my world today you can see it in action that's how we get rid of those extra glue globs okay all right um i want more <laughs> uh maybe i'm gonna do this i've got a little peg stamp so we're just making a pretty page today. This is like playtime um, in a journal, having fun, goofing off. A lot of you said you wanted to see some more pretty pages. So I just thought I'd maybe show you some examples of uh, different things you can do on pages. Um, sometimes folks get a little overwhelmed with a page because they feel like it has to be a grand, 
piece of art on every page and it can and there's nothing wrong with that if that brings your soul happiness go for it but if you just want to uh, put a little something you know that's perfectly fine too um because uh your brain our brains will fill in the empties as i fill in every 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 empty um okay so this is just a little explorative and uh you need to move over more don't be messing with me, mister. All right, here we go. That better? No, you go over there. Yeah, there we go, that's the fold. Okay, all right. Okay, so there. Now we have the piece, the piece is here. Okay, I hope I did that all on screen. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away and I don't see where the camera's looking. Okay, I'll back you up a little bit. All right, here's our pink page. You put you down here and that is so thin it's not going to cause any bulk in your journal it's easy to operate for anybody to come along and get a nice little surprise on the inside probably needs a word i feel like it needs a word um a big word okay we'll, we'll do you we'll put we'll put the word journey inside because this is a journey going through a junk journal and it's a journey for the maker too um there we go i mean you could just keep going and all these things don't add a lot of bulk so it's, it's kind of fun all right, probably should let that totally dry. <laughs> dry. Um, and then we're going to glue this baby down. So let me show you how I glue it down. I'm going to use Fabrifix in my Sugar Bell icing piping bottle, but you can also use a glue stick or a white glue. Um, a white glue might make a copy paper buckle and wrinkle a little bit. Uh, but if you use a very thin uh, bead, like an art glitter glue with a little metal tip and use a finger tool smear, um, you should be just fine. And uh, nothing wrong with a good finger tool smear. All right, here we go. I feel like I'm being quiet today, like I'm going to wake up the sleeping birds or something. Um, but they're, they're awake. They're just, just hanging out right now. Okay, going in the center of the page. And we're down. And we're down. Okay, now you could put a little latch close if you want, or just leave it as is because often these, these gate style things will flatten up quite a bit once the journal has been closed for a while. Let's say it's been closed for shipping or something like that. And then you're coming along and oh, oh, oh look what I find. Oh, what is that? That looks like it wants to, oh, look how pretty that is. And then they're all inspired and then they can't wait to keep going and find out what else there is to explore. Um, so that is that excitement. And uh, let's try a different style. Um, so that was the sideways gate. Let's try an up and, up and down gate and see how that goes. I haven't done one of those yet. Okay, we're freewheeling it now. Freewheeling. Okay, so that was at the front. Let's put something closer to the back. That's an interesting page. Oh, we could put one on here because that would pop, the white would pop. Although, where's my white paper? Who moved it? It was right here. Oh, here it is, right here. It's right in front of me, right. I can't see because my camera is right in front of my face, so I can't see things that are literally right in front of me. Okay, so we are talking upsy downsy land now. So this one might be a little smaller, I'm thinking. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna use the scallops because they're here. It gives me a pretty decorative edge. I'll just decorative edge this up too. I'm here. We're all here. We're here together. We've got a few more minutes. Life is good. Life is grand. Um, okay, so now leave this top and the bottom flush because we want them to meet. Now, I'm going I'm to try that example. Okay, I'm going to do this. Oh, I just thought of an idea. Let's, uh, let's make a little um, pseudo envelope out of it. I guess I could have uh, stuff on my hands. All right, this is where it comes in very handy to have some baby wipes so that you don't get ink and stuff all over your fingers. Or all over your fingers. It's already on your fingers. Don't get it all over your artwork. If it becomes a problem, just clean them off and carry on. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, so I have a little ink smudge there, so I think I'm going to put you on the inside. Yeah, all right. I think I'm going to make like a little envelope and a kissing stamp envelope style. So here is my envelope. It's a cute little envelope style. Uh, not doing anything too fuss fuss with it. I'm just going to put the glue on this end so I get a quick little envelope. Just adorbs. All right, there we go. You could use any glue again there. And just sealing up the edges. 
bringing this down and wherever I put this is going to be my kissing place. I got a little glue there. I'm going to roll that off. I think it's going to look kind of cute there. So that's what I think I'm going to do. But now I got to pick a pretty stamp that will just look gorgeous there. Let me see. Oh, no. Oh, that might be cool. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to pull out the uh, quilting square. I'm going to be a good stamper. I'm going to put you here. I've got this music thingy. Let me put it the right way. The music thingy. And uh, bar. I guess it's a bar. I think it's a bar. <laughs> um, and I'm going to stamp it across the midline. So half is going to be above, half will be below, or somewhere there, tither. Okay, here we go. And oh, I'm going to start with it down. Eh. Okay. Now that's not that's not really a strong bottom. It would be better if it was a hard bottom. <laughs> okay. All right. I could have had a little more ink on there. That would have been better. But that's kind of cute still, right? It is cute. I mean, you have to give me like two points for cuteness. Um, and uh, making a little envelope and I think I'm going to put that there but I'm going to ink it up a little bit to emphasize this pretty scalloped edges I want them to show up okay yeah there we go got all that I'm gonna put you here you're gonna open up and then there's gonna be something in here so um, let's put something in there that's just ultimate cuteness and um, how about we put, we can put a little butterfly. Let's put a little butterfly in there. Okay, there we go, just peeking out. Very cute. Um, and okay, we can have that there, but we could even have a word or something there. That would be cool. Let's do that. All right, what do we got? How about blessings? That's a nice word. All right. We need more of those. Boy, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Blessings. Oh, I think I moved. Oh, darn it. Oh, not bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. Very cute. Let it dry. Um, and then you can close it and then it can live right there. And I'm just going to glue the back on. And so I did, th so the upsy downsy example turned into an envelope with the overlap, but I think I'll make another one with the, um, the sideways gate style with the overlap so we can all see how that works out okay there we go okay so i like that. that that came out really cute very easy to do you could use any scrap of paper this is just copy paper people nothing fancy here um okay so let's make another sideways gate all right let's get this but this time we're going to overlap so i'm going to put one side down okay making a definitive choice i'm lining up my top and my bottom okay and then let me move this so you can see I'm going to fold this one I'm not going to meet it I'm going to overlap it and I think this is going to probably work better yeah I think I'm going to like this technique better and I'm just going to cut that so that's flush flusheroo where are my scissors um hmm gone totally gone okay well I'm just going to cut it on my guillotine and uh, that'll give me a straight cut right there. Okay, got it. And I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> All right, so now let's pick a pretty stamp and let's stamp it there. I love this stamp. Let me let me try this one. See if it works. It's a really pretty woman face. And um, I'm gonna bring out the heavy artillery, my my quilting square. And yeah, let's see how that works. I hope it works good. I think it could be pretty because sometimes the neutralness of it all and the prettiness of it all it's just it's just pretty okay let's see let's see how we do all right hold your breath everybody here we go and stamp i don't know if i waited long enough is it transferred i hope it's good and oh not bad i mean i, I could probably use more ink but that's kind of pretty huh yeah i think that's very pretty where did the rest of her eyebrow go i don't see it it is there, but it's not here. I don't know why, and I can't go back in. So that's what we got. We're going with that. So maybe maybe some sponge under that might work in that department. Maybe there, there's something about that type of stamp. Um, okay, so this is the overlap. 
technique. Okay, very pretty. And now, here's another thing you could use these for. You don't stick it in. That's right. You don't stick it in, but you use it as an extra... Well, you do put it in your journal, but you use it as an extra maybe piece of writing paper for somebody. Wouldn't that be pretty? Um, clipped in there, something like that. Um, what else we got? I, or you could just uh, simply clip it to the top of a page. And extra writing space granted to the journal owner. Um, there you go. How pretty is that? And uh, you could totally leave it black and white or you could add a little color. You could put a little pink in her lips if you wanted to. Okay, we'll try. Um, if it comes out horrible, it's removable. So there you go. There's, it's very low risk. I just have to find the pink dauber. Here's the brown dauber. There's the pink dauber. Probably using something smaller than this would be quite wise. Not happening today. Okay, just a little. Okay, that's all I'm going to do because it's, I think it's too wide. But uh, let me show you. So just a little pink hue on her lips. Very cute. Oh, you could do eyeshadow and blush and everything. You know. You know you can. And um, so there we go. Maybe I want to put a word. Maybe I do. And we'll have a word cross the bar as well at um, the gate door. Well, that's kind of cool too. Nobody would be expecting that. No. All right. Or you could do something like this. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try that. That's weird. Um, eh? Is that too weird? Maybe that's too weird. Let's uh, go back to the word idea. Where's a good word? How about summer? It's a nice word. Okay. Maybe her name is Summer. Okay. And we're stamping across the Great Divide. There. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that a lot. Very nice, right? And I think I'm going to just use that for regular writing paper. Um, just another place for somebody to write a few words to themselves. If you want to go get oh, super fancy. Well, this isn't really super fancy, but it's something. Oh, my goodness. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Um, you can round the edges with the little corner rounder. This is the good one for thin pieces of paper. Okay. There. And now you have that. Yeah. So, so much, so much fun that you can have with just a piece of plain white copy paper. You don't have to do, you know, acts of God to it. It can just be pretty on its own and um, just be a pretty thing to oogle at. There. So just a nice little add-on for your book. So I hope you enjoyed these fun little ideas and um, I had fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks so much. And I'll be coming at you with all sorts of uh, new ideas coming. Um, got a lot of videos planned and uh, lots, of uh, lots of things are being uh, created and made by me in the craft room uh, to go up on the Etsy store. So keep taking a peek in there. Uh, the paper outpost. Um, all the links are down below for everything. Um, if you're looking for my Amazon store for favorite tools and supplies or my Etsy shop for vintage digital kits or for surprise journal sales or gift set sales or other sales. Um, and my monthly emailed newsletter link is down below the video in the drop down description box for free um, journal tips, a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker. Uh, my videos do come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And my podcasts are audio and they're free and you can uh, listen to them on the go while you're in the car, walking the dog, going grocery shopping. They're all junk journal related topics and it's all new material. Uh, they're Tuesdays and Thursdays they come out and the link is again down below. Playlists are located at the uh, down below and at the end of the videos. And um, the Facebook group, we're having fun over there making uh, junk journal stuff, uh, all sorts of ideas, very inspirational place. Come on over if you haven't checked it out, just a bushel fulls of ideas. People are amazing and we do weekly and monthly challenges just for fun to have a great time and inspire the heck out of each other. And um, folks are very friendly. And you can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have fun with just a plain piece of copy paper today. Bye-bye.